And like I said earlier, you can update the values of uh, variables as well. Like if a variable had one value, let's say you define it as cans per pack equals six, things change during the program course of your code, you can update the value of that uh, variable. So first time when you assign cans per pack equals six, something like this happens inside memory. Okay, so inside memory, cans per pack is defined as a variable and this is the memory location. Okay, initially it's empty when you say equals six, it puts six in that memory location. Later on in your code, if you say it's eight, it goes to that memory location for that variable and puts eight in there. So this is like what a, uh, inside your computer's RAM, something like this might be happening inside the computer RAM, which is random access memory, okay? So this is just showing you the steps. So initially it was eight when you say cans per pack e equals cans per pack plus two, let's say. So that's the equation here, right? Cans per pack equals cans per pack plus two. Initially it was eight. So what should happen is cans per pack equals, go to that memory location, retrieve the value of eight, add two to it, it becomes 10 and then put that in this memory location or this for this variable. So it will calculate it, put it in the same place for that variable, okay? So that's what happens uh, inside the compiler. But we can write something like this, uh, provided cans per pack is already defined up here somewhere in the code. Then a simple warning that you can change data types also, like you define a variable called tax rate equals five. Down in the code, you can later say 5.5. .5. Yes, so it changed, it changed from integer to a float. Later down in the program, you can even put it as a string, right? The same variable, but never do it, okay? So I tell you, the variable that you define as one data type, keep it as that in the whole program. Does Python have the ability to do that? Yes, but never do this thing, okay? Never do this thing. Why? Because if you use a variable and it has an unexpected type, you will get errors in your program. So as beginning programmers, uh, if you define something to be an integer or as an integer in beginning, use it as that. If some, you define it as a float, use it as a float or a decimal point number. Never change their data types, okay? Because you're gonna get in uh, errors. 